oh my god, I, I can't get used to the fact that I can't wave dash to the shield. But for him, <coughs> he doesn't wave dash out of the shield. Like, it's not in his repertoire. When he plays other characters, he forgets that he can do it. <laughs> so for him, it's not a problem. That's funny. <laughs> All right, so Vish, uh, they're going straight to Fountain of Dreams. By the way, I, I love how Vish plays uh, color-specific, stage-specific colors for Captain Falcon. Does he actually? Yeah, he, he plays the color that matches the stage. That explains a lot and yeah. is the most Vish thing I've ever heard. Isn't it? That's so sick. <laughs> so, yeah, he plays, like, green on, like, you know, Dreamland or whatever. You, anyway, I'm just taking the first thought. I think that uh, Fountain of Dreams, this is the stage that has gotten better for Captain Falcon over the years. Yeah, for sure. Oh, he didn't just reverse knee him. I'm so surprised. I think he wanted the good old Isaiah. Oh, back air, back air knee, maybe? Yeah, back yeah. air turnaround knee. That was like the first big Falcon combo I ever saw. Yeah. This is the yeah. coolest thing ever. Melee is great. I love, I love, I, a, a good, that, that combo ages like fine wine, I swear. It just gets, it just gets better as the years go by. Now I can call it the Isaiah, and people maybe will understand what I'm saying. I have a hard time understanding what you're saying because there's like 10 different things that are the Isaiah. You know, the gentleman was almost the Isaiah. Yes. Yeah, we talked about it on uh, at the Holiday Bash. It's quite a story, I will say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nears him out of his back. Yeah, I'm just, right now just, when uh, when Falcon plays on this level, he usually wants to, like, get above the opponent and do these slower moves, like stomp, you know, and descend onto them for the platforms. But Omsen, oh. Omsen plays such a platform heavy style that it's no surprise to me he can just cut the aerials off before they even come out. Yeah, we saw that fast move and it's really wild. Yeah, but just like that, you know, really tricking Vish and making Monster as to when or where Amsa is going to be doing something. Right, right, right. And wow, yeah, Amsa's on top of everything Vish wants to do. Vish is smiling in the player cam because he knows, probably knows that this is a, this is now a game one that he can just collect data. It's, it's, it's going to be very difficult for him to actually, you know, make a comeback and win this game. He's got to then some kind of big opener because Falcon does combo Yoshi pretty well. Uh, if you get the hit first, right? Right. But it's also oh, not letting you get the hit. Oh, the counterattacks are so so big. Drop an air from mobs are there. Oh, the egg. Fish really can't punch that from that range. I'm oh because the, 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 the FOD platform was right there. Yeah, so he, he could couldn't jump. he couldn't do anything. He couldn't do an aerial. That's so painful for Captain Falcon. Yeah, the aerial uh, the platform well, at certain heights will cut off uh, Falcon's short up aerials. Right. You know, his ECB shifts and he lands on the platform and something. <coughs> But uh, Amsa never, Amsa, he was both uh, positioned and ready for Vish to do any slow aerial. He was always right. in the spot to either super armor counter or double jump uh, par parry counter. Right, right, right. Which is very, actually, incredibly difficult and very impressive by Amsa. Yep. Vish wearing a green Falcon now, which means he's going to Dreamland. All right, that's, taking him to a so stage cool. where he's a bit more mobility. A little more room. Not a little more room, yeah. Less cramped. Falcon does have a really strong punish game on, on Yoshi, but you do have to get the grabs, and he didn't really... Well, Founder Dreams doesn't really lend itself to that style of play, so if he plays a little more dash dance heavy here, I could see the stage working out really well for him. One of the things also that Vish does a lot in his play in general is he goes for a lot of spaced back air, uh, but you see Amsa, once again, with his positioning and timing, he's just too ready for uh, every delayed back air hit. He's just right. parrying or countering. Yeah. Vish has also been doing down throws on the Yoshi, and I would love for him to realize that that's not the throw he should be doing. Yoshi is a very heavy character, and Falcon has a weight independent up throw. Oh. So, yeah, actually, you. I, oh. Oh, wow, that was something you don't see very often. That's one way to counter that, I guess. The other way, famously being Setchies. Oh, he yep. heard you. Yeah, there's the up throw, and now he's got him without the double jump. He's got an air dodge. Oh, he's late on the knee! That's the second time he's been late on that edge guard. Right. Yeah, he's got to know that Ops has only one option there. He has to air dodge. Yeah. And because he has to air dodge, there's no mystery as to what he should be doing. Vish okay. has looked a lot better on this stage with, with more room, though. He's yep. not as forced to do with uh, Amsa's tricks or movement as much. Yeah. But it doesn't, it doesn't look like he uh, he's giving Amsa way too much respect on the recoveries, though. Uh, Yoshi does have a better recovery than we, we as a community used to give the character credit for, but there are still places where it's completely linear. Yeah. Uh, so, like I said, one option in those spots. Right. Oh my god. Okay. Good conversion there for Amsa. Vish is down a full stock now. He just tanks it. It sounds so painful. Yeah. Yeah, he's got he's to mix up the timing on those aerials, too. It's very unintuitive for Falcon to do that, but Amsa's very caught on to how Vish wants to do his aerials, and Amsa's pairing it every time. Usually for a lot of the other characters, it's a lot more difficult to deal with because you have to worry about the hitbox. There's right. No, there's no parry or anything like that. And yeah. he's spaced, but um, Yoshi specifically has a couple of cool counters. Yeah, that's right. 
Oh boy. Down smash and down tilt there are both really, really good against uh, the Falcon recovery. So it's forward smash if you choose to go. Oh my god, that egg just works. That was so cool. The anti-air setup egg. I like it. Oh, the eggs from the ledge. Oh. I am so shocked that he's alive. I think Ops is shocked too. Right? He did a little head thing. He was like, oh, I live. I want to you see Vish giving him too much respect. Yeah. Yep. Not covering yeah, he, enough options. He needs an answer for that for that parry. Uh, he could be maybe maybe empty jumping, maybe just staggering the timing a little bit, or going for a little more nair instead of back here. Right, that could help. Yep. Yeah, nair with the two hits, or like a you know a maybe even a slower aerial and stomp or something. Yeah, just the timing even more. Oh. Yeah, I'm somehow. With full stage control right now. <coughs> oh. Wow, there it is. That's gonna be it, way too far away to recover, yeah. There's a couple of very decisive down smashes by the edge for Amsa over the course of that game. And uh, you know, Vish had to really deviate from his standard game plan, which is very difficult to do uh, in the middle of a set, I would say. Yeah, 